Welcome to this tutorial on using control net modes in Scenario to enhance the composition of your images by guiding depth, structure, or pose from reference images. In this video, we'll use character design as an example, though the same principles apply to other visuals like backgrounds, environments, props, and more. We'll start with an image generated in Scenario, which will serve as a reference. Simply click Use as Reference to load the image in the left inference menu along with the prompt and custom model used to generate it. We'll use the same AI model to maintain a consistent aesthetic. To get started, select Control Net in the drop down menu and choose Depth Mode. This mode analyzes the layout of your image from foreground to background, recognizing shapes and their relative depths. Adjust the influence parameter to control how closely the generated image retains this depth structure. 50 to 100 is a typical range. Next, modify your prompt. It's recommended to create prompts that work with the depth map's perspective. Click Generate and review the output. You can adjust the influence or modify the prompt to refine the results. Keep in mind that a low influence setting may lose the reference structure, while too high an influence might introduce unexpected inconsistencies. Now, Let's explore Structure Mode, also known as Canny. This mode detects edges to capture the lines and outlines of your image, preserving the structure and shape within the scene. Structure Mode is particularly effective for sketches, line art, and visuals with defined edges, from architectural designs to characters and beyond. Adjust the influence parameters to experiment with varying levels of structure retention. Modify your prompt as needed to fine-tune details, colors, and other elements. Click Generate and review your outputs. Keep iterating progressively for optimal results. Last, let's review Pose Mode, which is tailored for humanoid poses and works especially well with realistic image inputs. This mode reads the skeletal structure of your reference image and applies it to create characters in specific stances or movements. Unlike depth or structure modes, it doesn't retain the exact shapes or depth. Pose often requires finding the right range for the influence setting, which depends on the model and prompts used. Generate and review the results. You can tweak the influence level or change the prompt to improve the outcomes. ControlNet offers even more modes to explore, providing enhanced control alongside your custom models, whether they're focused on a style or a specific subject. ControlNet supports using dual reference images and can be combined with modes like image to image or character reference, for instance. Stay tuned for more advanced tutorials, where we'll dive deeper into additional ControlNet modes. Be sure to check out other tutorials in the Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.